What's up with my YouTube family? This your boy D Boy ZX10 are back with another one. Today's episode is about phone mounts. How to mount your phone securely on the 2022 Kawasaki Ninja ZX10R. I'm pretty sure it's the same for 21, 20, 19, 18. I don't know how many other ones, but let's get to it. So I'm gonna put the links for the three pieces that you need on this video. So the first piece is this ball, one inch ball that goes down. Make sure when you take your screw off, you're gonna need a security hex key for that. But when you do take it off, make sure that you hold this washer it's this white washer and then it's a little black metal washer under there this is a nylon one and it's a black metal one underneath there make sure you hold those and don't let them slide down here because i let mine go and it fell down up in there and uh i don't know where it's at i took all of this apart all these pieces off and it was gone so i ordered another one from the Kawasaki spot from the OEMs it was a couple bucks but then the shipping was like three times as much as the piece was but I went to Home Depot and grabbed this it's temporary it's a little bit thicker than the uh, OEM one but uh when that one comes I'll replace it but back to it this piece right here came with three bolts this is the longest one it's a size eight. It fits perfectly in there as you see. But this is the longest one. They got a, another shorter one and then they got the shortest one. This is the longest one. Maybe I might need the medium one once I switch out my washer because it'll be a little shorter. But uh, it'll probably still be this long one though because this washer ain't that much thicker than the other one. So that's one piece. Then this ram mount is the second piece. It's the uh, double arm ram mount. Then the last piece is this quad lock with the one inch ball. I have a quad lock case on my phone. I've been using quad lock. Uh, I don't got nothing against the ram mount, but I don't like the way that the other one looks when it has the little thing that you squeeze and put set your phone inside of it. I liked it. I like this one where my phone case just clips in here automatically and you just push the little button to uh, take it off and give it a little twist. But these three pieces right here will be all you need to mount your phone securely on your bike before i had a temporary solution and i had the bike one right here i had a piece of velcro around here and on the inside of the bike thing i had the velcro going around and i had it clamped on there it had the uh, screw that made it tight but it also had the velcro just so it wouldn't you know extra security but of course when that was on there this moves up and down like it's supposed to it's not loose it's just supposed to but uh my phone was a little more bouncy but now it's secure it don't bounce uh i got mine linked forward a lot and the ball back so my uh charger will reach because i just got a little one foot a uh, little 12 inch charger wire to uh, go for my phone so I could charge my phone while I'm riding. It ain't, I ain't gonna die. Feel me? But yeah. Oops. Sometimes it'd be hard getting these on there. Gotta fuck with it. took all that time just to get it on there but it's mounted on there it's good to go it ain't going nowhere it ain't no bouncing no more so i'm giving you the game make sure you click them links and get it also make sure that you like and subscribe to the page okay okay king of kings motorcycle club so uh other than that that's all i wanted to tell you
I ain't got nothing bad to say about this bike. I like the way it look. I like the way it ride. Everything about it. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm out. Next time I see y'all or a YouTube video, let me know that you went and got that quad lock and that ram mount for your phone so you secure it on your bike. You can look at your navigation, change your music, make phone calls, all of that, and it's right in front of your face. I'm out. Holla. Go follow dboy.zx10r on Instagram.